国政府的各个机构 ，any government institution in the United States, executive, legislative, and judicial alike, should follow the foreign policy recognized and committed to by the U.S. government. The Congress is part of the U.S. government, and it should strictly abide by the foreign policy of the U.S. government. When the House Speaker, being the third highest ranking figure in the U.S. government, flies on a U.S. military plane and make a provocative visit to the Taiwan region, it is certainly not an unofficial behavior. The U.S. and Taiwan have collaborated and made provocations first, whereas China has only been compelled to act out of self-defense. And、uh, any countermeasure that China will take would be justified and necessary in response to the unscrupulous behavior and oblivion of the U.S. to China's repeated demarches. And China is only exercising the right entitled to by any independent sovereign country. Not to mention that China is a country of 1.4 billion people with 5,000 years of history. The U.S. must give up any attempt to play the Taiwan card and strictly follow the One China principle and fulfill the three Sino-U.S. joint communiques. If the U.S. insists on following the wrong course of action, then it should be responsible for any serious consequence arising thereof.